Hi, it's me, Leah. It's me, TJ. <laughs> I'm trying a new recipe tonight. I'm making pork chops, but they're like thinly sliced little guys. No bone in or anything, because that takes extra effort. So they're cooking kind of fast. Um, and then, so far, I peeled three apples. Wah, 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 wah. They look super weird. Oh, and I always have to cut a piece off for Thea. That's just, just how it goes. So now I have to dice those apples up and finish cooking these pork chops and I'll keep you in the loop. So I'm working on cutting my apples up. Didn't make it too far. Does anyone else have a problem with like little rodents crawling around on their leg when they're trying to do things in the kitchen? This. This is the one I keep having issues with. It's like no matter what I do, it finds me and <laughs> gets a death grip on my leg. Hey! Hey! <laughs> ah! <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that was funny. He is always on my leg. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. When I'm trying to cook, my goal is usually to get as many dishes done while I'm waiting for things to cook as possible so that at the end of it, the only stuff that's dirty is like the last pan and then the dishes we eat off of. I'm on my last round of pork chops right now and I got all my apples chopped. And man, that's only three apples, but they were like big old Granny Smith mamas. So, um, it's a lot. Also, I'm using a cookbook that I got from my friend's thrift store. It um, is three or four or five ingredient recipes, which is great, except we recently did a clean eating thing where we kind of realized how bad pastas and potatoes and breads are for you, and that's obviously in every single one of these recipes. So, when you're trying to cook healthy, what are some of the things that you go to? Because I'm always looking for suggestions. So, these are turning out really beautiful. They have that really nice color on them, which I'm super digging. The first batch I did did not, so I'm putting them in for just a little bit longer so they don't look like dead man's livers or something. Now that those guys look better, I just gotta dump these apples in here. And I think my apples are bigger than they thought, and I think I have more pork chop things than they thought. So I might, I don't know, I think I'm going to try to shove these in here too. So I don't think my skillet's really big enough for this situation. It looks really good, but I don't know how exactly I'm going to get all those apples cooked. I'm supposed to leave it in for only three minutes, so... We'll see how that goes. The good news is my little my little panda bear down here, she found a dish towel. So my legs are oh <laughs> spoke too soon. She's on my leg again. Such is life, that's okay. Don't worry, it's just apple juice. So the apples went out. I did not have room in my skillet for apples and pork chops, so I had to take the pork chops out. My dishes are done so far though, but I think this is starting to look pretty good. Now that I got the pork chops out, I can stir these around better, which is good because before they were definitely way too full. So yeah. Looking pretty tasty though. So, good news, bad news. The good news is the applesauce is turning out really nice looking. Ooh, let me turn this off. The applesauce is turning out, ooh. Super steamy, looks really good. I just put the heat off on that. And the pork chops 
These little guys look pretty tasty. So I was thinking about it and I was like, well, this is going to look kind of gross because it's like brown pork chops, brown applesauce. And I was like, man, I think I have craisins. I could sprinkle those on. That'll look so good. But I just cleaned out my cupboards the other day. And since they were three years old, I got rid of them, which is probably good. But I am honestly regretting it and wishing I had those craisins to sprinkle on my little pork chops. They're still going to be really good, though. This applesauce was, like, super easy. I might just do the applesauce part of it again. We'll see how it tastes, though. No sweetener at all, just apple juice. So I'm curious to see how that is. And the recipe didn't call for any, like, salt or pepper either. So I'm curious as to how that's going to taste as well. So I guess it's time to plate things up all the way. All right, so I'm switching from my handy dandy tongs to this handy dandy plastic spoon. Yeah, this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do a good big old scoop of that. And just, hmm, I don't know guys, I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? What really matters is the taste test of the picky boy because he will tell me if it's good or not. Yeah, whatever. We on the living room floor. Here's TJ giving me the review. Hmm. Not good. <laughs> I like it. Out of ten. Out of ten. Well, I had it. I had the apples on the pork chops. And you're not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that. Oh, Thea. But Thea's got a pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, Thea? I'd give it a four. A four out of ten. I, mean, I thought it was out of five. Uh, that, <laughs> what's that equal to? An eight? A nine? I don't know. I it's okay. It eight. Eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here's the thing. These pork chops are so thin, so I think they're a little bit dry. And to only have apples and applesauce, or apples and apple juice as a seasoning. <coughs> Sorry, <honey. laughs> It's just not quite enough flavor. I think really, if I did have craisins or something like that, that would be good. And honestly, just might need a little bit of salt and pepper. TJ generously gave it an 8 out of 10. I think I'd give it like a 7. It's super simple. It was very fast, and it was really easy. Thea likes the apples, so that's a perk. And obviously she enjoyed playing with the pork chops, so that's good too. So, overall, a good recipe. I'm always looking for suggestions. So leave me your favorite quick go-to recipe in the comments, and I'll give it a try for sure. Hope you have a great night, and I will see you around.